Hey everybody, 4 and 6 Psych back, and... I don't know what that's doing there. Um, it's Horde Night. And we are just about ready. What am I gonna do? An extra axe, I've got some stuff to repair. That's it, that's all I've got. I've got no more. 305 arrows. And you know what? Close that. I'm thinking steel arrows don't do me any good because it doesn't show up. I think I have to have the composite bow before they will show up. I can't use any of this stuff. I can use that to repair. I can fight with that if I absolutely have to. Um, and I'm out of time. But, one thing I think I have Honey, I have one beer. So if I've got to run, I guess I can do that. Well, this is it, folks. 2017 hours. And I am about as ready and set as I can be at this point given what I've got. Um, I'm really hoping that they come from that way in the last video. This is video number seven by the way I think it is Horde Night. Uh, Alpha 16 Experimental. I think that they're gonna come from this way. I'm hoping they'll come from that way. If not, I'm fairly well screwed. So I'll see you in a few minutes. I'm going to cut here, and we'll bring it back as soon as the uh, the buzzer sounds. And we'll see what we can do with this horde. Uh, I had a question that popped up. As somebody was asking me about these chairs and why I did that. I heard, uh, I think it was Grand Spartan, that said, if you put chairs like that along your wall, that the zombies can't get close enough to hit your wall and tear your base apart. Now, I don't think that applies to crawlers, but if they make it through, we'll see. I guess that that's it. Um, nothing we can do but try it and see if we can save the base. If we have to, we're going to die and respawn down underneath the ground, way the heck down there. Uh, and if we have to, we can run up there and get in and go down to that hidey hole. I don't want to do that, but... Say lovey. If it's what happens, it's, it's what happens. So, I'm going to cut here and I'll be back in a few minutes. Well, folks, here we are. Forensic Psych. Day 7 Horde is starting early for us because a freaking screamer just came by. So, we may as well be prepared. Here they come.
Well, they did not come from the way that I was hoping they would come from. And I think I'm going to end up doing almost as much damage to my spikes as they are. think much about being able to see out here. Looks like they're chewing through both the spikes and the chairs. Sounds like I've got some stuck down below too, and that's definitely not what I wanted. Last thing I need is for them to accidentally dig into the uh, mine. What was I doing? I forgot that I even had that. Ooh. 
Man, I cannot believe I am that freaking dense. Comes one. So I think if I was to shoot a slit trench across down there, it would steer them around to the edges and maybe the wandering hordes would put Terra in my place up. Doing a lot better than I thought we would be at this some movement right there a second ago. Got that one guy, sandwich guy, Bubba, running around down there. I can't seem to get him to come in. All things considered, Not doing too bad. Uh, 
that. Archery's doing pretty darn good. Well, it was nice of the screamer to start the horde off early for us. All things considered, we're not doing too bad. Hundred and thirty six out of three hundred and five arrows, and it's not even midnight. I think I'm going to slow down and let them come to me. and get in closer range. there. I'll let the spikes take care of them. I'm really surprised, frankly, that we've seen no vultures. That might actually be it, folks. Uh, looks like, you know, some stragglers, one or two out there, thinking about coming in, saw what happened to their buddies, thinking about it again. Got one stuck on the uh, log out there. any more ammo on him, but I thought if I could reach him, well, maybe I'd get him unstuck from the log. And... I am not seeing anything more to worry about.
So, given that, let's loot. It still says that I'm hunted. But... I'm not entirely sure why that is. I don't know if it's because there's something down there, or if it's because there was a bug. Let's take one last look around. don't see anything moving up there. Or out there. So, Z Nation FFS has been playing, and I don't know if any of you have watched his videos or not, but man, they are good. That guy is insane. He is definitely ambitious. So far, we have not gotten anything that's worth screaming about. At least not that I noticed.
Santhemum seed, huh? I think we've got everything cleared up. We got one freaking zombie left out there. And I think we're going to go just take care of him. Well, folks, looks like that's it. Day 7 horde come and gone. Uh, 35 minutes on the clock. I'm sure we're going to be able to cut some stuff out of there. And so, we're going to call that one an episode. And I'll see you in the next one, which should be episode number 8 of 7 Days to Die Experimental edition for experimental release. This is 4N6 Psych signing out, saying the four things that we always say. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and you'll get notifications when I put up new videos just like this one. If you have questions, comments, suggestions, opinions, anything like that, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, if you have friends, Invite them to come on over, check out the channel, let us know what they think as well. We see you in the next episode.
Warren Six Psych, signing out. Thanks, folks. I'll leave you with a view of what we picked up tonight. See ya.